All right, in this video, we're gonna work with the map view widget from the Kiwi Garden repository. So you can see this is what it looks like in the background, and we're gonna build pretty much this. We won't have the buttons in here, but we will have the map view and the little icons and a little bit more. Okay, so first thing we need to do is install this. We need to use garden install map view as our command um, because it's one of the legacy flowers, at least at the moment. So you have to use that garden install uh, line to install it. Okay, and it says we're done, we've got it. Now we can move over to Python. And I have here a new folder, new project folder. Um, Main.kv has nothing inside of it. Main. Oops. Main.py is just a blank app for now. And then I also have this little picture, which I'll use a little bit later. I've called it custom marker, okay? So first things first, let's get a map view implemented. We're gonna use the KV file to do this. First thing we have to do is import map view. And map view comes from kivi.garden.mapview.mapview, okay? And I'll just use that as my root widget and I will run my app just like that. You can see here, this is my map view. Um, you can zoom using the mouse wheel if you have a mouse wheel or um, if you right click and then use your left click to drag, this sort of simulates um, two fingers on the screen. So a double touch feature, all right? And when you zoom, um, it loads all the tiles and you can pan around the map like this. It looks really nice, okay? So right away, how easy was that to get a map on your app, okay? Super easy, super simple to do. Um, let's look at some of the attributes and functions inside of a map view. Um, let's see, you can set the latitude and longitude right away. So when the map is initialized, where does it center on at the start? I'll just put 10 and 10 here, okay? and also the zoom level, maybe I'll write five. Zoom level is an integer and it goes from one to, uh, I wanna say 20. So I'll run this and I should have set the zoom level and also the latitude and longitude at which I'm centered. So here I am somewhere in Africa, um, great. Okay, next up, we'll work with the onLat function. So this is handy anytime you like move around on the map or change the latitude really, this onLat function will be executed. So I'll just say print self.lat. So whenever I change the latitude of my map, um, I will print the latitude that the map is at. And then I can do the exact same thing for longitude. So I'll say onLon print self.lon. Or maybe I'll do this too. Lon self.lon so we can differentiate the two. Okay, I'll run this again. And I'll pan a little bit and go back to Python. And you can see I've been changing long longitude and latitude. So there you go, easy ways to get the latitude and longitude of your map view. Um, let us go ahead and put in a marker. We've already kind of imported it in a hidden manner from this uh, import right there. So I can just use the map marker pop-up. That's the name of the widget that we wanna use. And I'll say lat is, I'll put it 11 and longitude is 11 also. So anytime you use the map marker pop-up, you specify the latitude and longitude to put it at on the screen, and it will show up. I'll run this, and now I have my pop-up right there. Okay, it's a little bit off-center because I put it at 11.11 and the map is centered at 10.10. Now this is pretty nice because the map marker pop-up actually can hold one more widget inside of it. So the map marker pop-up can have one child widget. I'll put a button, for example, and when I press the button, I'll just print, hey. So how does this work? When I run the app, I still have my map marker here, there's no button, but when I click on this marker, now the button shows up. So this is pretty handy if you've got like a bunch of markers around, you can uh, basically select a marker, right? So you select the marker and maybe you have an image of what the marker is uh, talking about, that type of thing. And when I click the button, you can see it's printing, hey, so that's perfect. Um, so we got the map marker there and a button is sort of the child widget. You can also specify the source of the map marker pop-up. Um, the source is the image of the marker. By default, it's that red one that you just saw. I'll change this to be my custom marker dot PNG image. So it should be this one now, which is basically the same marker. I just colored it differently. Now when I run the app, There you go, I've got the blue marker instead of the red one. Looks pretty nice. And it still shows my button when I open it. 
and then it can also close. All right, um, let's see. There's a couple more functions um, of map view that I want to display, and I'll show those using this function right here. So to refer to my map view, here's my root widget, so I can just say root, and I can say root.center on to change where the map is centered. So maybe you've like got a search, search functionality in your app, and someone can search for a city like uh, San Diego, and then you want to center on San Diego. So I can say root.center on, and then pass a latitude, maybe I'll put like 14, and a longitude, 14, okay? Now when I run this, and I open up the marker, and I click the button, I should center on lat 14 and longitude 14, which is just a little bit up and to the right. Okay, so that's the center on um, feature. Another really handy one is the get B box uh, function of, of the map view. So again, root refer, oops. Again, root refers to my map view, and get B box is just a function of the map view, and this will, actually I'll print the content so we can see. This gets the latitude and longitude of, of every corner in the map view. And basically you would use this if you have a database with all of your, uh, like the locations that you wanna make markers for. And you would use the get B box function to determine uh, the latitude and longitude that's inside of the screen, like what's visible at the moment. And then you would query the database and say, give me all markers or all locations which are between this latitude and longitude and that latitude and longitude. Okay, so let me show that. I will, um, I'll comment out this one. So when I click the button, it'll just print the bounding box coordinates. So I click here. And now you can see I've got these four numbers. So minus 3.13, minus 7.57, and then 22 and 27. So this is the uh, lower left latitude and this is the lower left longitude. So basically, these, this little coordinate pair is the coordinates of this corner right down here on my map, okay? And then the second coordinate pair, these guys, this is the top latitude and the top longitude. So it's gonna be this corner. So I would use this function, this get B box or get bounding box function to get the range of latitudes and longitudes of locations that I wanna pull from my database, okay? One last feature of the map view that I want to show is called the double tap zoom attribute. And this is Boolean. By default, it's false. But you can also change this to true. And if I do that, now I can just double click on my map and it will zoom in a little bit for me. Okay, so that's, if you want that in your app, you can put it, but you don't have to. It's just something I thought I would show. All right, now the last thing I want to talk about in this video is how to make map marker pop-ups in Python. Because again, like I said, you probably have a database or something and you want to create these map marker pop-ups dynamically um, in your Python code, okay? So we'll go over to Python and we need to work with the map marker pop-up widget so we better import it first. So I'll say from kiwi.garden.mapview import map marker pop-up, okay? Now I'll work with the on start function of my app. So anytime this app starts up, um, I will execute this code. And first thing I wanna do is maybe make a new marker. So I'll say marker is map marker pop-up, and then I can specify the latitude and longitude. So I'll say lat is, I don't know, um, 10, longitude is 12. All right, and then I need to add the marker to my map view, my map view widget. Okay, in this case, map view again is my root widget. So I would say widget marker. And now if I run this, you can see this is my new marker. It's the red one because I haven't changed the source. And when I click it, nothing opens up. This one, my old one, remember, opens up the button. So now you see it's really easy to um, create these markers in Python dynamically. <clears throat> Again, you can change the source of this in Python. If I just specify source to be um, custom marker.png, and I run this, now they're both blue. And again, I could um, add, a, add a widget like that button. So maybe I want to do another button. So I'll say from kiwi.uix.button, import button. 
And to add that button, when I click on this new marker, I need to say marker dot add widget button. And maybe I'll give this one some text. I'll say um, Python button. Okay, so what I've done is I've created the marker. I've added one single widget to the marker and it knows to display the widget when you click on the marker. And then I've added the marker to my map view object. Let me run this one more time. And we can see when I open this guy, this is my Python button. Nice. It doesn't do anything, but you can see it's a different marker, different button. You could, of course, maybe I'll do it just one last time, make a bunch of these. I'll, I'll say for I in range um, 10. And I'll just indent that. And let me change the Latin lon to I for each. And now when I run this, I should get a nice line of markers. So bam, 10 markers on my map. Easy as that, right? There you go. So that's how you work with the map view in Kivi. That's how you add a bunch of markers. That's how you change the, uh, the source of the marker, the image, and add children so that you can see them when it pops up. I hope that was helpful for you guys. Uh, make sure to stay tuned for more videos, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks. Mm -hmm.